Word up, party people in the house. Kettle is on, tea is in the guy one, and we are about to start another May Leap Sessions. Hello, everybody out there. Let us know where you are drinking and what you're drinking from. Yes, what you're drinking from, where you're drinking, and what you're drinking. Uh, we have an empty seat here. So that tells you that our little girl, Ayana, has, uh, is not cooperating, and she's not going to sleep, and she's still asking for mama to be with her. So I thought, hey, you know, we're one minute late already, not acceptable behavior for a Swiss man. So I thought we're gonna go live and it'll just be me and I'm sure she will join us very, very soon. So let's do some shout outs. Uh, Marco, Philadelphia sipping Nug Potion. Salterpool, Louisiana. Flavi from Germany. Incredible. I love that song, incredible. Incredible, um, haven't received it yet. Oh, I don't know where you're drinking from, but hello. Newbie, I think, in the house. Miranda, Dario, Heiko, Joey, Scott, Luke, everybody out there, Claire, Bibi. Welcome, welcome, welcome to May Leaf Sessions. It's been a little bit of a while, actually. Um, it's been, what, a couple of weeks? No, we missed, yeah, we missed Valentine's Day and then we missed last week. So we've only done one this month <clears throat> or in the last month. So apologies, but we are here and then we're going to have to take another break because we're going to go to the World's Tea Expo. So you won't see some lives. Or maybe I should do some lives from the expo. Would you like that? That could be kind of interesting. Do like a Wednesday night session at the in Vegas. Could see if I can figure that out, maybe with my phone. Could, could be good. I'm sure you'd be down with that, right? Um, you could do a little sneak peek. We could do a walkthrough of the expo together. I don't know if they'd let us, but um, we'll see. We'll see if we can push it. Anyway, welcome. Uh, let us know if you've got any questions. Any questions you have, then I'm primed for answering whilst I wait for my wife to arrive um, and uh, join us for this Wednesday night session. Lovely to see you all out there. How you all doing? Beth, I was already hoping you might be planning that. I'm not quite sure. Oh, the, the, the World's Tea Expo Live. Yeah, what could we do? A live report from the Expo, that sounds good. I have to work it out. Maybe with the organizers, see if it's possible. Lara, hello, nice to see you. Oh, do a live at Tuesday's Vegas session, that's true. The problem is that um, Celine can't come in to the, um, to the expo because they don't allow kids in. So we're going to have to do a bit of a uh, tag team um, in terms of visiting the expo. So it's like trying to do a meetup whilst also holding a phone might be a bit um, of a difficulty. I'll have to figure it out. I have to figure it out. I'm conscious of the fact that I also want to make sure that if I do a meetup that I'm actually meeting people and not looking at a phone and you know what I mean? It's a bit, it's not really cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, any tips on how to enjoy tea when you're under the weather and can't really smell or taste the tea very well? well I guess the first thing is make sure that you pick something that's very strong and robust so that you can really hits you. Um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of like herbs, chrysanthemum, honeysuckle, um, Boat Seculia is a, like this little seed that opens up. It's really good for moistening the, the airways. Um, and tea, obviously. Tea, tea, tea. Um, yeah, no Celine. So it's going to be annoying, right? Uh, like, I, it's going to be a meetup just with me. Maybe we can do a tag team and she can come in right at the end. And uh, I don't know. But they don't allow kids in. It's a, it's a bummer. Um, tea Expo is in Las Vegas and it's coming up in a couple of weeks, uh, less than a couple of weeks, March 17th, I think it is. I'm gonna be doing a few workshops there. Um, so if you're, if you're there, then come and say hi and join, join one of the workshops. One of them is on a day which I think is just for like a boot camp for tea businesses. And the other one is, um, is uh, I think, open to the, to the entire expo. Scott, you can bring a tripod and set the phone or iPad. If you're coming, Scott, then hey, I'm down. Um, honeysuckle, yeah, great for bad coughs, for sure. Uh, maybe a live when we get back to the hotel. Yeah, could do. We could do a little, a few streams, definitely, for sure. Uh, skip Vegas and head to China for Qingming. Yeah, I know. 
But you know, I, it's been a while since I've gone to the expo. Um, and uh, the last time I was there was 2015, the last time I was at the World Tea Expo. So, you know, nearly 10 years. So, you know, it's a, it's a good opportunity to, to go see what's happening over the pond. Um, you know, World Tea Expo, US Tea Expo. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, it's more US centric, but sure, it's international and it's going to be interesting. See what's happening. All right. Well, I'm still waiting for, for Celine and it's probably going to be a while. So what the heck is going on here? This is all I'm going to show you. And I'm guessing that some of you were figured it out by now. So this has been all over social media. Um, and um, sorry, priority number one is to answer, to show one question. Have you scoped where and what you will eat in Vegas? No. Any suggestions on foodie places in Vegas? Because I really haven't had any time to research it. We're going in kind of blind. So any places that you recommend, like foodie places, you know me. Got to get the good food. So please uh, hit them up either in the chat or send, put them in the comments. If you're, if you're from Vegas or you've spent a lot of time in Vegas and you want to give me those little secret good places or not so secret, but like worth going, even if they're hyped, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, <laughs> bottles of urine. No, Scott, these aren't bottles of urine. These are in fact the drinks Sprite and 7up. Um, and this is a, a craze supposedly that was sent to me of brewing tea in Sprite or 7up, um, normally tea bags, leaving it for a couple of hours, basically cold brewing. So, I thought, should we give it a try? Um, so Celine went out and she bought a Sprite, but then she realized it was sugar-free and we hate sugar-free stuff. So she thought she would buy 7-Up. I've always preferred 7-Up to Sprite. Anyway, look, I know, Sprite tea, why? I get it, but you know, I'm sort of down with like, if you send me a tea trend, I will test it out and just give you my opinion on it um, for what it's worth. Um, but apparently people really love it. So what we have here is um, sugar-free Sprite oh, and 7-Up, which I used to like, but I haven't drunk it for ages. I don't drink sugar. So this is going to be the first sugar that's going to be hit my system like in liquid form for quite a while. Um, and inside is um, Ancient Haze. So we put a good tea in. We put a good tea in, and I figured that the hoppy craft beer quality of an ancient haze would work very well to offset the sweetness but also the lemoniness of um the sprite and the seven up so which one should i try first i'm going to try the sprite first and we'll see what the sugar-free one does i hate sugar -free. i like this is one of my pet hates is sugar substitutes i cannot stand the taste of sugar substitutes so I have a feeling that this is going to be a very small sip, but we shall see. It is still a little bit fizzy. Apparently, Celine said that when she put the um, leaves in, they just fizzed up so much that I think a lot was lost. Um, so that's something that you learn. If you put tea in soda, it's going to fizz up. Okay. Smell smells like Sprite. I my memory of Sprite. Because in the UK, we used to pretty much only have 7-Up, right? And my memory of Sprite is that when I would go and visit my um, relatives in New York, go to Flushing, go to the Chinese restaurant with my sister, you know, I don't know how old we would be, maybe about eight or nine. And going to the Chinese restaurant and knowing that the thing that would be waiting for us are ice buckets and like sort of demi bottles of Coke and Sprite. The US people out there will know this, but this is not a very common thing to see in the UK. And just the thrill of knowing that we could just like put ice in our cup and drink loads of Sprite and Coke, whilst also having this Chinese banquet of so many courses that we would like chow down. It would be so, it'd be like heaven for us. Amazing food, like, in massive quantities, because again, the US doesn't do portions by half, right? Um, and so it's just like, it's like, it's just gluttony. 
right? It's just like, oh my God, all this food. And then Sprite and ice bucket. It's just like, man, good times, good times. All right, here we go. So let's try this. Wow, it's been a long time. Um, okay, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm not going to be drinking lots of it for sure. The sugar-free note at the end is a problem for me. That, that taste of that cloying sort of not sugar sweet, like sort of not necessarily chemically, but certainly like, like a, a manufactured sweetness. Um, and um, so that's not good. But the actual initial taste is okay. And the, well, Ancient Haze does work with it. I have to say, it does give it a little citrusy, uh, hoppy little pop. I mean, it's not strong enough. I think it would be better if it was brewed a little bit. If it was, yeah, I don't like that, that finish. But if it was brewed a little bit stronger, um, I think that the, the pairing kind of works. All right. But I hate, hate, hate that aftertaste. Ah, what's up, Don? I'm not talking to me. I'm talking to you, Don Chaco. Um, yeah, I know. I don't normally do this, but you know, you've got to try these things. I'm interested in all of these <clears throat> little trends that are going on. If you haven't seen the video about us brewing in a tangerine, then go check that out. Um, it's I think it was two weeks ago that video. So you can go check out that one and you can see us doing that tea trend, that TikTok trend. All right, here we go, seven up. Seven up. Which I did actually always prefer in the end to Sprite. I found it more limey. Here we go. Wendy says she has she has, she shares my hatred of artificial sweetness. Yeah, I just, I've always hated it. I remember like, again, like, um, it's always the States. I always associate the States with soda. I don't know why, because there's plenty of soda here. But basically it's like, I remember going to the States when my sister was at NYU uh, and we, I stayed with her in her dorm and she had like a mini fridge and her, I think it was more her roommate, just, it was filled with Diet Coke. And there was one time that I couldn't go out because there was something wrong with the pass, you know, like the, the pass to get in and out of the dorm. And like, basically my sister said, if you leave, you're not going to be able to come back in. You need to come back in with me. So, and she had to go to do some lectures or whatever. And I was staying and I was really thirsty, but there was no water and the tap water in New York is just not, no, you don't do that. And so the, all I had to drink was Diet Coke. And I remember... Like I just went through such a, a horrible, like I was just like, I was having to, I think that probably just like fixed this hatred for artificial sweetener in me. I taste it and I just remember that feeling of like, this is all I've got to drink. Anyway, cheers. Yeah, I still prefer 7up. 7up is definitely the one that I would prefer over, over Sprite, especially the the sugar-free one, and um, for those mentioning Lilt, that was my jam. Like when I was into drinking, when I, in, I was never really into it, but if I went to get a soda, Lilt. Do they have Lilt in, uh, in the US? US people, let me know. Do you have Lilt out there? <clears throat> totally tropical taste is amazing. I, I used to really like Lilt. Uh, yes, tea trends. You don't have to try them. I will tell you this. I will not recommend this tea trend. I mean, it is essentially soda with a little tea twang, but it's not disgusting and the pairing does work. So if you're intrigued, then go for it. Crush up the leaf a bit before you put it in, because I think extracting in a sugary solution means you're going to extract less. So you need to crush it to make it stronger. <clears throat> but hey, Try it out if you fancy it. Grayson says, agreed, artificial sweeteners and flavors are not desirable to, at all to me. 
Now I'm thinking to cold brew a tea of choice, then put it in a carbonator, keep it natural and sugar-free. We have done that. That is an experiment that we have done many, many times. So you can um, cold brew a tea <clears throat> in still water, and then um, you can carbonate it with your favorite, like whatever carbonated thing. The only thing that I will say is that it does froth more. Again, just like the tea here, it does froth more. So if you've got like um, that carbonator, it will get quite fizzy bubbly. Um, and taste is, is all right. Yeah, it's pretty good. You can get some good ones, especially if you cold brew it very, very well. I thought Lilt became Sprite. No, Sp Lilt and Sprite are completely different drinks in my book. Um, can you make Hong Kong milk tea by doing Gong Fu style but with more tea leaves? Yep, you can. Um, but again, I would advise crushing the leaf um, because you really want to get a strong extraction if you're going to do uh, a milk tea. I've done a video about that. Uh, go check out how to make Hong Kong milk tea where we actually visit Hong Kong. Um, sorry, doing it for my stomach. This is doing it for my stomach. We have somebody about to join us once she's sorted out the camera situation. Um, and you can try these luscious and lovely drinks. Well, look, it's not. In my opinion, they're not awful, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Uh, Lilt is a variety of Fanta now. I don't know. I just remember that initial Lilt drink was, was my favorite. What was your favorite soda? Um, I Say, really like Hello. 7 Up. Um, Seven Up, yeah, I would go to or that um, tropical fruit soda. Lilt. Lilt or Coca Cola. Yeah, I think Coca Cola was the top. Yeah, no, fair enough. It's a classic. Seven Up. It is a classic for a reason. Yeah. Controversial question was in the states would be Pepsi or Coke, but here it was not really that controversial, was it? Mm, why was it controversial? Like there yeah, would be people that would there would no, but there would be people that were really like Pepsi lovers, right? And people that were real Coke fiends. Yeah. The drink. Yeah, you were more, I mean, yeah. I was always Coke. And Coke seemed to get the better marketing here. Yeah. I think in France, Pepsi was. Oh, yeah. I associate with yeah. it. I think it's because yeah. of the red, white, and blue, though. Yeah. It sort of has a Frenchy little language to it. Oh, Dr. Pepper, yeah. Do you remember Dr. Pepper? <gasps> yeah, I didn't really like it. It was a bit too medis medical yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. I know. Evie, hello. Nice to hey, see you. Uh, are we starting to drink sodas now? We are just testing out the trend. So here you go. You can choose which we one you want. We changed from like tea to yeah, exactly. sugary, fully sugary drinks. Uh, Zooted Coke fiend here. All right. Okay. All right. All right. How do you like to have your oolong tea? I personally use milk and honey, but uh, one could say it's a breakaway from tradition or so my friend says. Bah, Ariel. Should I do it in this? Uh, you can, oh, you can do it. Um... Yeah, um, oolong, drink it pure, but yeah, do whatever you want. If you fancy mixing honey and milk, then all good. But which oolong are you picking? Because like, I can imagine it getting drowned out a lot by, uh, by, uh, by, the, by the milk um, and oh. the honey if you're not picking the right tea and brewing it really well. Milk and Pepsi, anyone? No, thank you very much. This is nice. Which one is that one? <laughs> this one. You quite like the Sprite, huh? No, I prefer 7-Up, but Sprite is always too sweet. Can I uh, oh, change you, did that? Did you try the 7-Up? I like the 7-Up. Oh, you can hear that. Yeah, see which but one you prefer. But the flavor is nice. Yeah, the combo is not yeah. bad, is it? The combo is not bad. Look, so. I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing it. Mm. I wouldn't want it because I don't want to drink the sugary drink. But is, it improves upon the 7-Up. Actually, I think it improves the Sprite yeah. with the 7-Up. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. It's a bit too sweet, actually, weirdly. I mean, they're both, like, next level sweet. You're right. It's not very fizzy. The, the flavor of the tea comes out more in the Sprite uh, yeah. than the 7-Up, but I still prefer the flavor yeah. of the 7-Up compared to the Sprite. It just needs the right tea. But, well, it's a lot of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. Oh, my God. What blend or black, what blend or black do you recommend if a strong tea feeling that hit you in the head? Strong like ginger feeling, but not spicy. Something that's strong like ginger feeling, but not spicy, that hits you in the head. Blend or black tea? That's a difficult one. I'm going to leave that to you. My brain is not able to function on that. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the cocktails we do, like queen bee and stuff like that. Fresh ginger and oh, cinnamon yeah. and lime. That's a it. spicy, but not spicy, but hit you in the... 
Maybe it's a black key. Um, push button? No, that's not very spicy. Push button is, yeah. I would say that's quite, but it's quite, quite punchy. Uh, I saw that Scott was uh, drinking bad. <gasps> bad, I would yeah. associate with that a little bit. Yeah, but gingery. You need something really warming. I mean, I think Agent Hayes, actually, like when brewed strong, is quite punchy, poppy mm. little number. Yeah, it's a shame we don't have the actual key. I just want the actual key. We have it over there, but yeah, but can't be bothered. Okay. We've got other stuff <laughs> okay. to do. Uh, don't miss Sorry. that super chat. Um, I am going to look for Sorry. it. Because I really cannot figure out how to do this. I never can. I know there's a little button here for this. No, that's not it. No. <laughs> you deleted the chat. Jim! Oh. Jim, Whoa. man, like, the the thanks that we give you. Thank you so I don't know much. how to say it in new ways. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Do you know what yeah, I mean? Extremely it's extremely like, grateful for the money, really. <laughs> extremely, extremely grateful. Thank Especially you. Thank you so times. much. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank um, you. Thank and you. yes, yeah. please, like, I don't know. Like, I just, maybe just write... Like, if we are already conversing, this is the thing, because yeah. I converse with lots of people. If we're already conversing, then just say, by the way, I'm Jim T. Yeah. yeah. So that I can, like, put the two and two together and go, oh, that's you. Like, because otherwise, like, I don't know. I don't know. So let, let, me, uh, let me know. Yeah. Um, if we are. If we're not, then just write and say hi. All right. So what we're going to do right now, I think there'll be no trouble. We're going to rock like this through, straight through the summer until we cold break air with I the drummer. <laughs> what is it? What song? That's the real Roxanne. Oh, ah, yeah. Um, is we have got in front of us three guy ones, and those three guy ones have blends of a tea with a tisane. So we're doing a tea with a tisane blenderino. And Why we're has the chat gone quiet? That's who's, confusing who's me. Done what? Why has the left? chat gone quiet? Yeah, you just deleted the whole thing. <laughs> you can't even see it anymore. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What I, is that? I, have Butterflies? I, got, I know. Have I got some filter on here? No, the chat has literally gone. <laughs> hold on one second, everybody. That's good. Please bear with us. Literally Please gone. bear with us. Can you write something to see if the chat is... Oh, yeah. yeah, we've there lost you go. the chat. Entertainment. Michigan Entertainment. Yes, please. Mm. Okay, Maybe I've lost so the chat. Be. Hold on, hold on. Oh, top chat. I'll bring it up over here. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Uh, one second, everybody. Still working. Still working. One second. Sorry. Okay, back. We're back. Phew. All right, so we've got here... <clears throat> uh, we've got here um, Guy Wands. Now, I have done my blends, and Celine has done hers, okay? <laughs> so um, you don't know what's in mine, right? Yeah. You've not looked. So it's a mix of a, one tea and one tisane. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so... You're going to have to make a guess as to what this combo is. Okay. Okay? Yes. And you're not allowed to look at the, uh, the guy one, obs. Obs. <clears throat> but I will... Should I show them? But then you're going to start writing clues in the chat. And that's going to distract you, isn't no, it? No, they won't. <coughs> I want to do this game properly, so don't give me any clues. Okay? <laughs> but they will. Of course, they're going to look. looks like a... Nyah, nyah, ooh, nah, nyah, nyah. All right, don't do it then. Do it after. Okay. First, I do the blind. Yeah. Cody, okay. watch yourself, boy. Why? Did I close now? No, Why no. that comment? <laughs> go one, one couple. Anyway, uh, um, I will rinse it, and then you can smell it, and then you can see if you can figure it out just from the aromatics, okay? Yes. <clears throat> Here we go. Don't look, but have a sniff. Okay. Oh, okay. I get lemon verbena and don't <laughs> let me show the cameras. Okay, not showing the cameras. Wow, it's really lemony, but with like an undertone of is it an oolong? You can show the cameras. Okay, so you're saying that it's a lemon verbena and an oolong. Maybe. Do you want to take a green a, take a guess at, at the oolong? Um, Wait, hold on, I'm showing the camera. This is what it looks like, everybody. Glitchy camera, don't, unbelievably glitchy. Maybe it's a green tea. Okay. No, maybe it's a new one. Okay, you can take it again and have a smell. Oh, it's like raw peach orchid or... 
Yeah, it's been a glitchy day. My microphone was just not working just beforehand. Now that's getting all glitch face. Mm, maybe it was meant for too long. Okay, let's give it a brew. The glitchy camera, by the way, is a Sony A7S III. Like, it's an expensive bloody camera and it glitches. God damn. Anyway. Um, so, yes, you saw the leaf. Any thoughts on what it might be? Maybe you don't look at the chat so much. Any I'll thoughts that you think... Of, yeah, just... Just don't Fun. engage with the audience. I at want to all. engage with any of you right now. <laughs> just, just stare just off like... into the distance. Don't look at us. Um, yeah, anything that you think is uh, is in the guy one. Yes, Doran, this is live. We are live. I've just called you out, so we are live. Right, <clears throat> we're brewing up a mix of a tea and a tisan smashed together. And I actually have not tried this mix. I just literally looked in the cupboard. Is that what you did? Or did you pick a mix that you've tried before? No, I looked in the cup. Actually, I just thought about it last night. And yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, you can look here. Don't worry. Just, they're not really guessing that much anyway. Holy Basil. Catmint tea. <laughs> <laughs> Can't resist. What's that? Catmint tea. Catmint. Catmint. I know of catnip, but catmint. Yeah, mint? okay, for a second I thought it was catnip. I mean, maybe maybe catnip is called catmint. What is catmint? Is that a type Ooh. of mint? <clears throat> Natalie's asking, any new teapots coming in soon? Um, yes. Shortly-ish, I think. And ordered some new chow chows last, uh, a couple of days ago or yesterday. Some new style chow Well, I'm sampling them. I'm going to sample them first. Um, could you show it again? Camera was very glitchy. Okay, let's try again. Um, I just think it might be the glitch time. Yeah. I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to um, pull that, pull that, that out. No, it's fine. I'll plug it back. Sometimes that works. Cat mint apparently is like catnip. Cats love it and can ruin your garden if you have cat mint in it. Can I look? Yes, you can look. Thank you. Um, let's see if this is less glitchy now. Don't look, don't look at the screen. Very nice smell, I have to say. Not bad, is it? Kind Not of bad honey, smell. lemon, okay. biscuit. Right, honey, lemon, biscuit. Mm. That's a nice tea, mate. I would like, I would like that, the honey, lemon, biscuit. Yeah, I'm sure you don't like Okay, here we go. The weird, mysterious mix that I have no idea what it tastes like. Time to actually drink some tea. Ow! Ow! <laughs> All right. Color of the liqueur. Mike. What's up with the mic now? Hello? Hello? Hey, Hello. that is dark. Hello? Hello? Where, 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 where? That's not a new alarm. Hello? Can you hear me? Audio breaking up. I can't believe this. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, one, one. Let's try and plug in this. There is no sound. Is that, that right? Anything? Is it better now? It's, it's echoing, apparently. Is it because it's uh, not in the right place? Is there water that splashes on it? One, two, no. One, two, one, two, one, two. No, it's broken. Look. <gasps> it's bloody broken. Oh, shizness. Do you have anything else? Oh, better? They're saying it's better, but it looks broken. I don't see any light coming out it of there. It is good now. Better, better. Yes, much better. Listen, man. <laughs> if the gods don't want us to stream, then, hey, then like, you know, <laughs> see you the later. next thing that's going to go is this, the, this, the laptop's going to go click, 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 and glitch yeah. out, and then you'll be like, okay, well. Like, <laughs> clearly not meant to do it. Oh, my gosh. Please. Okay. All right, yeah. here we that go. Color of the liquor. There you go. Go for it. Have a little sip sip. Yeah, that looks very... I, I think that must be like a green tea with it or something like that. Okay, have a little... Okay, good one. It is just reverb. You're just hearing reverb. Great. Fun. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. It's All I you. can do is just leave it alone. So messy. If Cheers. I turn it up, is that better? I turn it up. Or is that worse? Okay. That is 
I'll try. Interesting. I used to be a sound engineer. It's so ironic that I used to be a sound engineer, like work like on music in music studios. And the one thing in my whole setup that always seems to break yeah. is sound. Really? How many microphones have I gone through? How many so like many. things I go, oh, this is a new microphone. It always gets, it always breaks. So many, yeah. Remember the time I threw a microphone? <laughs> you were in China. Yeah. yeah. You did. That was weird. And you literally grabbed it and threw it. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? And you're like, you must be too tired. I was no, like, what no. did you say? No. I was, <laughs> I was in weird. Tongmu. Yeah. And you were filming me and like, I was like holding the microphone, <laughs> yeah. like receiver, no transmitter and like a big fly, like a big, like oh, insect right. landed or a moth landed that's on my right. fucking hand. And I just went like that and <laughs> threw the microphone. Yeah, you're like, hmm. okay. Smash down the hill. Okay. So what do you think about this? I think it's a green tea with like lemon verbena. It doesn't taste very nutty though, so I can't. I don't think it's too green. Mm. Maybe like a Laoshan green or Cloud Lake. Okay. Maybe Cloud Lake. No Laoshan green. No Cloud okay. Lake. Oh, it's a bit creamier though. Okay, maybe it's that um, Lily. No, not Lily Kim Whip. Spring something. A Ti Kuan Yin. Spring something. What do you mean? No, it's not that. Sipu Goddess. <laughs> no, 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 is it? Sip Spring. Yeah, Sip Spring. Oh, we haven't had Sip Spring for ages. Oh. <laughs> it would help if I remembered what tea we had in the cupboard. All right, I'm just going to go with. You can have another brew. <laughs> you don't have to decide right now. I went the wrong way. <laughs> you can have another brew. Don't worry. I'm not rushing you. In fact, we've intentionally made this session manageable we've only got th two more guy ones of tea to drink Just we're not two. like you know we're not going crazy right <clears throat> so oh, that literally went back up like through yeah. my nose <laughs> tea regurge yeah tea gurge oh no to gurgitation to gurgitation you made that up yeah okay <laughs> I love the fact that you thought that I'd be saying, yeah. what, you didn't know that word, degurgitation? Yeah, I honestly thought you were going to do that. I don't know enough words in my dictionary. Um, okay, so. I think it's. That color, maybe it's frozen summit. Okay, here, have another sip and you can, you can assess it correctly. It's a oolong and lemon verbena, isn't it? A green oolong with lemon verbena. Possibly. There's a bit of minerality happening in the background. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hot, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is going well. Um, I'm trying to see if someone. Wrote yeah, come on. No, no. I, they, if they want to see, I'll, yeah. But if I show them the leaves, then they'll. Okay, I will show you the leaves one more time. Here you go. Oh, um, Alishan cream, and it's got a creaminess. It's like white rabbit oolong or something. White rabbit oolong. Yeah, the white rabbit sweet oolong. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I was just thinking like you like that was something you had tasted before. No, you're just imagining an oolong has a bit of a white rabbit note. Yeah, no white rabbit candy. Oolong flavored. Sorry, yes. Oh, did we try this? Isn't, doesn't Ali Shan Cream have a bit of that? No, but are you saying that there were white candy uh, candies that were actually scented <laughs> no. with oolong tea? No. Oh, okay, I was like, damn, I want that. Isn't silk oolong? That was a bit like that. No, but the actual candy, oolong. like buying white candy. Yeah, no, 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 no. That would be cool. No. I like that. No. Um, so, um, sorry, Ali Shan Cream, were you saying? Yeah. Are you saying Ali Shan Cream and lemon verbena? Is that what you're saying? Oh, maybe Midnight Sun. <laughs> Can't make a decision. Does it have enough goods? roasty roasties? It doesn't have enough roasty roasties. Um. Hmm. Last sip, and then you got to go. Okay. What do you think? 
What do you think out there? Anybody? Oh, Anybody? Um, yeah, what do you think? No, come <laughs> Don't on, come on. Um, hmm. What about Jasmine Jade? It's got a little Jasmine note. <laughs> I'm going through all of them. Would we blend Shifu's pudding with lemon verbena? Yeah, I could imagine that being a good mix, but this is this is this is not that. Okay, I'm gonna go with what did I last say? Jasmine Jade. Oh no, that face. <laughs> it's gotta be a green oolong and maybe a Greek herbal. Yeah, it has to be a green oolong, definitely. It's really creamy. Um Superior Iron Goddess, Tiaguan Yunin, Osmanthus. No, I don't think there's enough. Oh, maybe there is. It's hard, man. It's not easy. Have another sip sip. Okay. But this is the last sip sip. You said that last time. I know. That's why I'm, <laughs> I'm emphasizing that this is the last sip sip. One more for me. It's not a bad blend. It's quite nice. Quite nice, but there is, weirdly, like the lemon verbena adds a little bitter note with it. And that's why I think it might be a Tiquanian. Stop um, trying to read my face. Stop trying to monitor what I. Okay, 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 okay. Just <laughs> go with your taste. <laughs> this is like a hard one, isn't it? Normally Golden we... flower Tiquanian. Okay. And lemon verbena. Final answer? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. I mean, it's not golden flower tier one. It is lemon verbena. It's another green oolong, and you were closer before when you were talking about creaminess. Uh, midnight sun. No. Oh, uh, lily cream whip. Damn it. It's lily cream whip and lemon verbena, which okay. you said pretty much very yeah, early yeah. on. You yeah. said lily cream whip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you forgot about floral. it. And the thing. creamy, the white rabbit creaminess. Yeah. And you also said Alishan cream. Yeah. So like, which is kind of, and then you went Midnight Sun. So you were hitting milk oolongs. <sighs> you were hitting Jin Shuen oolongs. Yeah. But then you veered. Diverted. Veered to uh, China. I think you got distracted by the Tie Guan Yin comments here. No, I didn't really. No? No. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I, when I was looking, I was like, why is no one writing? <laughs> Even though I said at the beginning, I do not want anyone to write. I want to get this by myself. I didn't. I, I did get it. You got pretty close. And it, it does, it, it tastes okay. I know what you mean. It's not a perfect match, but it oh. tastes all right. But the smell of the empty Gong Dape is very oh, nice. That's like a cementous oolong in, in milk, like heated up yeah, milk. Now I am really getting those white candies, though. Those yeah. white rabbits. Yeah. Even the rice paper around the rice, yeah. the, the, oh, the white rabbit. Proper white rabbit candy. It's proper white rabbit candy. So that's very, very cool. Really all right. So now it's your turn. This is but, your go one. Don't you prefer that without them to, together though? Yeah, no. Like, I, I would still go for yeah, the I wouldn't. I myself. wouldn't recommend that blend. No. But it wasn't awful. No, it wasn't awful. <clears throat> Just not like particularly worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Luke says Lily Cream Whip was one of the first teas I ordered from you when I discovered May Leaf, such a comforting, airy yet creamy brew. Yet yeah, airy yet creamy is a good way to describe those high mountain luminous. Do you want to switch? Why? So you can brew yours. Oh, yeah, okay. Isn't that That's better? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Welcome to the other side. Alrighty. Oh, it's quite nice, spacious here. Oh, do you find? Yeah, you, you're a bit cramped. Don't you feel a bit cramped? No, it's all right. Oh, okay, yeah. Which can handle um, Lee Lovely. says, will we get, ever get hip cuddler again? Yes, it's coming back. It shouldn't be too long. A couple of... See, I left that one. Okay, that's a burning up electricity. Should I go and finish? I'll do it. it. Okay. You brew the tea. You can show the camera. Yeah. Like by clicking close up. I can up. show you guys. Yeah. Not the camera. I can show you guys the tea. Ready? Wait, how do I do that? <laughs> well, I'll put it here. I wanted to go close up, but. You can push the close up thing on there. Oh, wait. It's not focusing. Focus. Yeah. Oh, bombs. Uh, there we go. I don't want to look. You yeah, why are you looking? I'm not looking. Just you've got to put, push, push close up. <laughs> you got to, if you drag it to where it says close up on yeah, the left got it, hand got it, side, got it, then got you it. see now okay, you can show the you. camera up here. Thank you. Can you show the middle of it? Uh, Try and keep it right in the oh middle. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is I not know, that it's easy. It's not easy, is it? 
Oh, you appreciate that, like, there's a bit of skill involved in this. This is quite <laughs> hard to show. Sun. Yeah, anyway, you can't actually see the tisane in this. Okay, well, that's interesting. Oh, maybe you <laughs> can now. giving me clues. Oh. Okay. Then you click back on um, oh, main. Yeah. Main. Yeah, we're back. I'm doing it. Can All I right, it? yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try not to look in the chat, so you can have a discussion about what that is. I, I won't look at the chat, which means I'm not going to answer questions or comments for the next 10 minutes. minutes. Oh, that sounded like Kevin Crank. <laughs> I can look at the liquor though, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm doing a rinse, yeah? Am I doing a rinse? Well, yeah, because I'd like to smell it. Oh, yeah, smell. Okay, but without looking. Oh. Uh-huh. That's not easy. That is not easy, <laughs> madame. I thought it was quite easy, actually. But then, yeah, okay, I can Okay, see. it smells like a black tea. Okay. And, but the herbal, unless the herbal is so like, I guess the herbal has a sort of red fruit kind of quality to it, like a red currenty fruit kind of quality to it. Oh, that is hard. It's kind of buried rather than herbal. I'm not getting like oh. something that's like flowery. It's more fruity. Mm, that's nice say. then, though. It's nice. It works. It blends. Yeah. It definitely is a blender. Oh, well, I knew it was a black tea, but I saw darkness there. I saw the darkness of the body. Never mind. But I didn't see anything that represented herbal. Yeah. All right. Apparently, the tisane is in this. <clears throat> there is. There is. But it's exciting. I was going to sip this and then realize that would really ruin my taste buds. Oh, yeah, no, don't do that. Alrighty. I can look at the liquor. Okay. I mean, that just looks like a black tea. <laughs> <laughs> so, no clues there. Yes, yeah, so, it looks just like a, a. Oh, okay. It's a bit like more um, rosy, ready. Mm. Ready, but not rose. More like. Um, Kind of a, a caramelly, like a russety, rus rusty caramel. It color. is true. All right. It's pretty. Or like um, agave medium sweet. Mm. It's quite dark, quite mapley, but it's got a redness yeah. about it. Oh. Did you burn yourself? No, but like I didn't even drink it, but the steam went in my mouth and was tangy. <laughs> it's true, actually. You can smell oh, it. okay. It's tang fest. Yeah. You didn't need to put much of this in. You did a good job of not putting too much of it in, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, because <laughs> any more than that would be too much. Okay, okay now that doesn't work. I can taste the tisane. This is hibiscus for sure. So this is hibiscus and a black tea. Now it's just about trying to figure out how to get oh past gosh. the hibiscus and taste the black tea. Did I put too much? I was really careful. Literally, just breathing it in like that makes your mouth go all like sour from the, from the steam. True. But anyway, it's still, you know, I'm never like, you love hibiscus, don't you? I love you use it. use it a lot. Yeah, I do love it. It's because it's so pretty in color and mm. it's like that but tangy you like the note. Taste. Yeah, I like it with other things that makes it sweeter and creamier. And, like you honey. Know. Yeah. Right. So you sweeten it. So you have the sweet and sour. No, sometimes I have it like with other teasans. Like I do chrysan chrysanthemum, hibiscus. Okay, yeah, put some honey. <laughs> it always, you've yeah. got to have something because it's so sad. Uh, hibiscus is good for so. uh, cardiovascular. It's got lots, lots of anthocyanins. Um, so it, it's mostly sort of considered in that realm, the anthocyanin benefits. But of course, there's plenty more. Hibiscus is so strong, which is why even though we didn't see the tisane, it's still overpowering the black tea. So I need to now figure out what the, the black tea is. Yeah. And there are some clear, clear, clear contenders and clear things that it is not. Okay, what, what is it not? It's not like an oriental beauty black tea. It's not like an um, ancient haze. It's not a very um, flowery black mm. tea. It's mm. not like a little tongu. It's not particularly chocolatey. Mm. So I wouldn't say it's in the sort of Sushong liquor JJM territory either. Right. Um, it's not particularly sort of, yeah, 
in that chocolate or even that Dian Hong maltiness. So there's lots of, so you've either got that sort of chocolatey malty like aspect of black tea. Yeah. It's not in that category. Yeah. Or you've got the flowery, very sort of aroma forwards, like flowery black teas. It's not those. Yeah. So this is more in the robust, um, like antique -y, woodsy, yeah. cedary, but then licorice and like, you know, spicy notes of a black tea, right? Yeah. So that means that it would either be... Mm, it doesn't really work. <laughs> it would either be old, like a, a wee, like an old, tree, old, old bush black. It could be an old bush black. Everyone's guessing. Um, it could be a chiman. It could be a chiman. But it's not quite in that creamy note that I would mm. want from a chiman if it's our chiman. It could be a chiman, but I don't think it is. It could be a malfung chiman, but I don't think it is. It could be a Japanese black tea, <laughs> but be. I don't think it is because Japanese black tea would brew out stronger. It could be um, old tree black. It could be a Yunnan black tea, not 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 candy tree black, not forest jam, but it could be. Um, mm. It could be a honey. No, it could be push button smile. It could definitely be push button smile. In fact, the raisiny note in it. Uh, it is. It could very well be push button smile, and hibiscus, but it's either push button smile or. Fig butter black, no, but maybe I'm leaning a little bit also towards old bush black. So I need to taste it one more time. I know what I would look for in old bush black. In old bush black, I want it to have a um, vaporous roundedness that push button smile doesn't have. And the push button smile would be more in the raisins and the woods um, and the licorice spice. You got a good memory for your um, teas, don't you? Um. Yeah, this is push button smile. Yeah? I think this is push button smile and hibiscus. Well done. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I thought it would work, but actually I think it needs to be more like forest jam and hibiscus or something. Yeah, I think that, yeah, bright. it's, um, you want something to bridge the gap. Yeah. This is like sour and then in the forest. Yeah, it's like, like you want too... something that's a little bit bridging it. Yeah. It but yeah, it's um, it's not work. bad. It's just not, Listen, again, you wouldn't go no, back to it. No, it's not good. If it's not good, you can't drink it. You let's can't smell, drink it. Let's smell the... Um, don't! <laughs> I don't know why I did that. What did you do? <laughs> Oh no! I don't, I don't know why I just went. Oh, let me just see this guy won. <laughs> I'm not awake, people. <laughs> okay, normally I make those kinds of mistakes. Uh, I think it's that chair. It's the sitting there chair. Let's blame the chair. <clears throat> it's not me. It's the chair. Okay, so now you need to reveal what you know, and you've got to be honest. What, what do, you do you know about what's in this in this guy won? But you didn't see it, right? Huh? Oh, no, I know, know what's in this guy one. <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> what did you see? Head. Um, the I saw a tree cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually quite annoying because I bet I would have gotten that. So what do you think is in dried there? Uh, fig leaf? Damn it! Yeah, dried fig leaf. And, and that's cheeky because that's none of our that's not our teaser. No, I was thinking to cheek it out. Okay. Anyway. Dry I'm excited, leaf, but do you though. know what the second tea no, is? I don't okay. know. I don't Any see. idea? It looked dark. Okay, so a dark tea. Maybe a black tea? <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's this it's this. I damn didn't chair, see man. it. <laughs> okay. Alright, switch it up again. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I... get go into the klutz chair. Oh, yeah, good. Alright, so I will show everybody out there. What do you mean, dodgy Don? What did I do? Ow. Why, why? Jeez. Why? <laughs> yeah. I didn't do anything. <laughs> it was me. It's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. All right. I'm the dodgy Don. Listen, they just want to say it. I know. That's what it is. Um, okay. So here we go. Right. So you know it's fig leaf, right? Yeah. Don't. 
<laughs> Sorry, that was my fault. No, I don't know why. It's like the intrigue of tea just makes me just just want to look. Okay, now again. don't give it away. It does look like a little bit like you found some something on the grass. I know, but here we go. Do you want to smell the dry? Yeah. Go for it. Oh, you've become Cheeky Celine. Dodgy Don and Cheeky Celine. Oh, that's all right. I yeah, prefer that to dodgy. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's talk so about, nice. like, you, like, softening it for her. Oh, my goodness, that smells good. But then it's fig leaf. You can't go wrong. I want to get a fig leaf <laughs> tree. I know. Fig trees. Don't look at the chat because it's pretty obvious what it is. <clears throat> oh, no, if it's obvious, then... That means I have to get it right. Under pressure. Yeah. You will get it right. This one was the one that I really wanted to try to like taste because I was like, oh, I bet that's going to be a great combo. Oh, it's like vanilla and cherry <clears throat> custard. Oh, Let me rinse it. Vanilla and cherry custard. That smells lovely. It smells so good, doesn't it? Yeah, it smells so good. I have to keep my eyes closed, don't I? Uh, no, you don't have to. You can open them. Okay. Have a little look around. I'm going to have a sniff first. Around. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's quite deep. I oh, know. I <laughs> cannot believe it. The involuntary cheater. I don't know why I'm doing this. Unbelievable. <laughs> I think I'm too scared of losing. I've become an absolute... Okay, so we're going to enjoy a nice session of Nug Potion with a uh, fig leaf. Oh, no, you said it Well, now. it's obvious. You knew it. So um, that oh, game no. was fun. In the, in the wet leaf, it's like gone rocket, like steamed rocket. Yeah, it has. Uh, <laughs> it's like all the ones that we've tried to do have not worked. Let's see, let's see. I still have faith. I don't know. I don't know, man. I have faith. Hey, don't poo-poo it. So yeah, that was uh, maybe if we do this game again, we should put we should bring blindfolds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you will not look. Oh my, oh my god, Zooted says strike two. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it really makes you think. Is she doing it on purpose? Yeah, it's like I oh, don't even know myself now. The game me, is like, that you got to guess. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Why? Know. Why do I keep looking? Yeah, no. I but I've made so many mess ups like that. So it's all right. Oh, nice color. Good color. Let's just pretend for those of you who missed that part. <gasps> what do you think it is? <laughs> can you guess? Any ideas? I can just get it from smelling the tea. Watch. <laughs> Nug potion, fig leaf. Yeah. Bit of cat hair. Lovely. Uh, love fig. Love fig leaf. Remember we went to love Quality Chop House and had that fig leaf ice cream. Ice cream, yeah. Oh that my God. That is so good. Yeah. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Fig leaf oil. Amazing. Not an amazing blend. <laughs> I was going to say, man, that tastes like... That is wrong. Um, I am so sorry. I'm going to pick those out because Nug doesn't deserve that. I'm trying to get what it actually... I think it is, again, steamed rocket. It's something, it's something very steamed vegetable. Because these are just fig leaves that were dried, were picked by us and dried, right? Yeah, it's got a bit of liver as well to taste yeah. it. But I basically you can't heat up fig leaf. Do it in like a custard, make it in an ice cream. What is that smell? It's something quite. It's like pea and. <laughs> oh, wait. This kettle is the Brewista and kettle. Steamed spinach. Pretty good. I've done a review, yeah. check out on YouTube. Sorry. Spinach. P and steamed spinach. No, you know what it reminds me of? Okay. It reminds me of um, when you've gone for a walk in like, gone for a hike. It's been a wet, like autumn or spring day and you've crushed lots of nettles in mm. your, you know, in your, um, under your feet and you mm. get home and your shoes smell a bit like that. And like a little bit like those mm. pellets, those hamster pellets. Yeah, you know, uh, oh, yeah. a little bit hamster pellety. Uh, hamster 
it's 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 very much like mulched mulched green stuff as opposed to a very good tea or tisane. Yeah, I think that's why I never got a hamster. You know? My cousin had a hamster, but I didn't like the smell of the of the little pellets. <laughs> yeah, and the sawdust. Yeah, sawdust was alright. I always associate yeah, I always associate sawdust with butchers, but that shows you how old I am. Could someone please tell me what their kettle is? Our the kettle brewista, is the brewista. Yeah, I said it. And then someone said, I love my brewista. Ah, yeah. Um, Sorry, what were you saying? Pellets. No, the sawdust, yeah. the smell of sawdust yeah. reminds me of a butcher's. Because when I was a boy, yeah, weird. all the floors of butcher's were sawdust. Really? Yeah, because then blood would spill and stuff. They yeah. could sweep it up, right? It was easy cleaner. Versus? Versus having to mop the floor. Oh. Isn't that the case? Am I imagining this? Didn't butchers oh, used to have like their floor covered in sawdust? I just associate sawdust with butchers. So I associate it with the smell of raw meat and the smell of I see. death. <laughs> <laughs> in a way, you know. Wow, intense. Yeah, okay. You don't remember that though? No. Okay, how old is that? Is this true? I'm, am I going you dream crazy? It. You dreamt it. No, Scott says true, butcher's floor. Malik says yes, Don is correct. Back in the olden days when men were made of steel and the ships were made of wood. Yeah, exactly. Back in them days, man, you know? Where does the blood uh, soaked sawdust go? They sweep it up and put it in the bin and trash it. Oh, and then they put more sawdust on the floor for the next day. Yeah, exactly. Ah, so you'd go into so a butcher's and you'd the, just be like, you know. And I meat. don't know if they just did it in, I don't think they did it like where the, the where, um, say patients no the clients are oh. you know it's not like i walked in on lots of sawdust although it got kicked around a bit mm. but it was more where they were working because you know if they're cutting meat and stuff there's blood <laughs> around <laughs> right around God. don's old as f there you go thank you very much <laughs> apparently yes also operation theaters used to have sawdust on the floor operation theaters well, yeah that's that. why well because they're cutting up human bodies that got dark. Oh, I, I, for some reason I thought like <laughs> I thought it was the theater play or something, you know, like an actual theater where actors act. Yeah, uh, Roger says. <laughs> so uh, Roger says I'd hate to be a patient at a butcher's. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Oof. I mean, I don't know. Is this just a UK thing, sawdust? Anyway, Wendy yeah. says back in the day when you actually had to dial the damn phone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right, yes. But I was from those days too. Did you have a... Yeah, at my dad's. It's quite okay. fun right, actually to do that. So I'm not that, that oh, wait. fucking... No, that was at my grandmother's. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's your grandmother's, not your dad. Uh, yeah, uh, because yeah. the push-button no, phones... Push-button push phones were right around the sort of... 80s? Late 80s, eight, yeah. Early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, so you wouldn't... Can I have more tea? Oh... Okay, Without so we're, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Um, nug potion straight, right? Yeah. We don't want the mulch. We don't want I the hamster mulch. I just don't want the hamster. Yeah, I don't want the hamster, hamster, hamster mulch. mulch. Okay. Fair enough. No hamster mulch. Um. How about? <laughs> Have you just gone silent? <laughs> Sorry, I was actually just reading. And yeah, was you like, were just like. <laughs> I just sit here and read, you know, it's not like afterwards, after the, after the live, she'll maybe spend like five minutes just sort of looking through the comments and like, but Cause we're, I we're still live. <laughs> <laughs> They're still actually watching I, us. No, it's because I wanted to have a conversation and I was like, maybe I can read a, like oh, a yeah. question, yeah, sure. but I'm so slow at reading that by the time I get to the end of the sentence, it's been five minutes of me not talking. <laughs> and Don's like, what? I was like, makes sense. is she meditating? Um, yes, those old phones were a lot of fun, the rotary phones. Yeah. You'd hate it when there were a lot of nines in the number. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like... <laughs> it was like one, one, two, one. I'd be like... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the quick in you yeah, is like... Yeah, it's just ah, like... Oh, ah, efficient. Ah, ooh, ah, ah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Back in the day. What other things like that show your age? Dial up phones. Sawdust um, on butcher's floors. Yeah, Ra radios. No, like actual radio. Didn't you have a radio as a kid? No. Didn't your hi-fi have like a radio yeah, yeah. part of it? Yeah, 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 that's what I mean. Yeah. That, but that's 
past certain people's eras, isn't it? Well, analog radios. Mm. Yeah. When did analog radios disappear? I think that was more in the 2000s, right? Really? Oh. I think. Uh, Cars with no seat belts. Damn, yes. You probably don't remember no. that. I bloody remember that. <laughs> I do. I remember when people were like outraged, like, we have to wear what <laughs> when we drive? Like you want to close us in? You, but, like, and it like was like these things like how dare you? And, like, everyone mm. was like, I'm just going to say I've got a medical condition. I can't. I can't. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and I have, I mean, I don't know if I love that, but every time someone doesn't want to do something, they're like, they'll blame it on the Yeah, <laughs> medical, medical condition, condition. yeah. VHS tapes. I you, can't go to PE because I have my periods. You know, that always, it's like always something. Yeah, it's always a medical school. condition for sure. Um, you remember VHS tapes, right? Uh, yeah. You remember pages, right? Yeah, I yeah, remember my dad page recording page stuff on VHS yeah. tapes. Uh, analog radio disappeared? No, it's not disappeared. I mean, sure. Of course, there's still analog radio out there. Yeah, if analog. you want to be vintage style, then you definitely can get radio. Gosh. Walkman. No, no, it's like a style, you know? Oh, yeah, I do know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. that, that style has been around for ages as well. True. There's always been a vintage. I just feel like... Ev- it's just that the vintage five moves. Years, it's just like... Yeah, I know. These <laughs> days, it moves very quickly. A Walkman. You know a Walkman. I had a Yeah, with a cassette, right? I love right? my Walkman. With a cassette tape, not, yeah. not the Discman. And then, and then you had the disc. Yeah, then you had the Discman. And it CD. always, like, would jump CDs. around. CDs. You'd jump around when you'd walk. Like, it would like a clink, clink, clink. It would be annoying. And you'd get the, like thicker ones to try to be a bit more like or uh, maybe you had like quite big ones mine was flat and, and like never metal skipped. and gla- grey you never skipped while no, you were walking really, really maybe I just had a crap one yeah <laughs> imagine pranking someone back then by screwing a nail through one of the dial holes that's not very nice oh, Jim <laughs> an 8 track yeah uh, that's an 8 track that's, that's uh, previous to cassette I'm I don't remember 8 tracks wow. so like 8 tracks is know. is further back than me okay. um <laughs> But yeah, I know of them, of course. Uh, headphones with cables. Hey, man, oh. that's not that. I still got headphones with cables. Don't. Ray, recording songs from the radio on cassette tapes, burning CDs, MP3 players, yeah, and a massive 128 megabyte capacity. Oh, my goodness, yeah. I oh, remember goodness. Um, when LimeWire came out. What's LimeWire? What? LimeWire, you know, the, the, um, the download site. But you could like to remember oh my gosh, and it's like, like you'd be like yeah. you can search for any music and you could get it for free i didn't really use it that much though and it, it would there. only take 20 minutes to download a file i mean like you know it would take yeah. a long and you'd have like oh it's working no it's not working oh it's working no, it's not working yeah. and then suddenly be like yeah i got it you know yeah true now it's just yeah. like man it's, if it takes longer than one second to load you yeah you're well, well pissed off now it's like it's, it should be faster but yeah, that's mad. That is mad. I remember those. That yeah. wasn't that long ago, surely. No, it was long, man. What are you talking about? That was 20 years ago. Cars with ashtrays. Don't they still make cars with ashtrays? 20 years ago? That means I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, that means I was 50. <laughs> ha ha. Yeah, it's not nice. Uh, is it? I forgot. <laughs> when you look, 20 years is age. Oh, no, I was 15. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you get used to that. Okay. Cars with ashtrays. Yeah, I don't. Do they not make cars with ashtrays anymore? No, they don't. Uh, grew up with parents who had a camper van with no seat belts. Cheers. This is not potion. Okay. The first tea that we're drinking today that's actually going to be tasty. It's, it's, well, I don't know. Has it, been, has it been contaminated with the hamster poop? You cannot contaminate nug potion. It's unstoppable. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness. Uh, Claire grew up with parents who had a camper van, so no seatbelts anyway. <laughs> Knobs on a TV. Yes. Do you oh. remember? Okay. I remember okay. having an old TV mm. where you'd tune it like that. <laughs> and you see the picture coming in. And you'd just like to, like, That's you'd so get cool. it to, like, be accurate. Be like, and you'd find the place. And it would be black and white. Wow. Now, okay. Let me just caveat that by saying I knew at the time when I was a kid, that that was a vintage old TV. Yeah. It was like the one that was like, oh, there's this lying around. Do you want it in your bedroom? Right, so everyone else had a... No- oh, yeah, another- there was a normal tea down- TV downstairs, <laughs> but I still TV. was using that yeah. in my bedroom. <gasps> Dial-up mod- modem. Dial-up modem, that sound. So, so yeah. That sound is... is- <laughs> yeah. 
or loading up, a, loading up a game. Who, who remembers loading up a game on a cassette tape and you'd have that and you'd just be watching the game loader. And you'd be like, please yeah, no, don't crash. That. Please don't crash. <laughs> you, it would all be on a cassette oh tape, man. God. Oh my gosh, that sound. If you played me that sound, I would. I, it would be so like nostalgic to me. Mm. My gosh. Madness. Wow, that, that took me back. Analog photo cameras with a roll of film in them. Well, that's all the rage now, right? Everyone's taking analog. Oh. Yeah, oh, everyone's yeah, taking. Yeah, yeah. That's it's now, it's now, that's, that's back. That's back, baby. It's like you can get all the grain on it, isn't it? Like proper um atmospheric look yeah exactly it's great floppy i used to discs. love it floppy disks yeah yeah and i always used to be confused like we like so that's the floppy and then the hard like you suddenly you'd get like a hard one and I'd go, oh that's a hard disk and they said like, no that's still a floppy disk and yeah go, i need those hard disks <laughs> what there was what before floppy actual floppy disks. yeah they were floppy Really? They were floppy. They were like proper bendy. You've never seen what? a floppy disk? No, not a proper one. They always had like a cover around. With it. like the no, with like a circle in it. You put it in and you have to clunk it and go. Yeah, but it was still a hard cover. No. With a hole. Floppy. Wow. Yeah, no, floppy never disk. Saw those. Yeah, line wire and dial up. That was rough times, wasn't it, man? But at the time, it still seemed like fantastic. You know, you could get a track. Now, at the same time, I did get on my hobby horse and go, this is going to kill music forever, right? <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, okay. You say that with a lot of things and then it does kind of... Oh, did it happen? What, what was it? I can't remember. There are some <laughs> stuff that you say and you're like, that's going to just go downhill. Sometimes I get it right. Sometimes I get it wrong. I don't know. You decide. Oh, actually, didn't you say the vinyls? But then now it's back to being popular. It's not really back to being that popular. Isn't no, it? I'm just saying that music, when, when, when you can get music for free, then there's too much of a reliance on image and sort of commerciality versus like creativity. The, uh, the upside, of course, is you've got a platform for everybody. Yeah. And so anybody can get their music out there, but you need the curation process. Thankfully, I think what's happening now with Spotify and all of this stuff is that the curation process is getting better mm. and it's curating to your tastes True. to some degree, although it does still lead you down like more of a conventional path a little bit. Yeah. But before when digital was out and it's just a wild west yeah, and true. you had no curation or very little, it was, it, I think it's not. Oh, no, I think it's very good now. Like the fact that you just play one song and then if the next one, they'll just choose. What do you think? Do. What do you think about the, the way that people find music these days compared to how they found it before, right? Before you'd go into a record shop, the guy at the record shop would like show you something that he liked that might yeah. be completely different from what you liked, yeah. right? That Spotify would never have recommended. That's true. But like led That's you on true. a path. Yeah. So in that way, I think Spotify or these kinds of things are worse. Mm. But at the same time, they're very clever at finding stuff that you might like. So yeah. it's sort of like swings and roundabouts. I think it? it's definitely improved and probably will <clears throat> keep improving. Yeah, so. you would hope so. Hive Mind. Huge satellite dishes. Yeah, huge satellite dishes. The sound of dial-up internet. Yes. Oh my God, the TV and VHS combo for sure. Um, who used to have TVs that were encased in wood? I never had that. Did no, you? I think that's... I, I think that was pretty good. And I, I've seen that more in the US, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, wow, people are writing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My grandma's old car had seatbelts in the front seat, but not in the back. Yeah, we had an adjustable external antenna. We had to tweak until the station came in. Yeah. I've got back to analogs, record and film cameras that develop my own film. Well done. Cool. Good. Very cool. I like it. Yeah. Although I still really love the freedom that digital... I'm sort of of that era where... When digital came out, mm. I was a bit like resistant to it because I, there, are, there are things that, yeah, that are not good. Yeah. But the freedom of being able to take pictures yeah. and not think that costs money, that costs money, oh, that costs true. money. And just be able to just take, you know, and I know it's too much. And it's, I know there's that process of it's yeah. nice to find your yeah. shot. And I get all of that and I agree. And it goes too much, but I still love being able to just snap and find the perfect thing. I know? mean, there is that thing of there's a moment, especially when you take pictures of people, that you can at least find a moment within all these pictures. But I'm suddenly really craving just having that that 
yeah, each shot has to be thought through. Because yeah, they're, they're, they're or, or have a like, certain beautiful randomness about it, yeah. right? That the mistake is the, what's yeah. beautiful, right? Or yeah. the, the blur is what's beautiful. I yeah. get that. But I think that when we look at our pictures, yeah. when we've taken a load of pictures on digital, it's, a, it's more of a hassle process because yeah. you've got to go through it. But I think we still find the ones that have that, yeah. that have captured something. True. It's not like it's, you know, we just go for the best shot. You no, know? but it is quite fun to try and get. Anyway. Yeah. Kitty. Oh, do both. I need to do that next. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna buy a, a yeah, film I am. camera. I'm a hundred percent. Is that just happened now because of yeah. this conversation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. And a burgeoning <laughs> passion has begun. Or maybe just a throwaway cam- camera. You know, no, like get yourself a nice one. Yeah. You never know. You know, I had a friend. She um, used to do these quite cool um, artworks where she'd go on holiday and take like proper snaps, and it was on a roll. Yeah. And then I think one time she had water on it. And when she got it developed, yeah. it was this beautiful oh, yeah. pink haze. The happy accidents, for sure. Just play around with that. Put in tea. No, man. Oh, my See? God. I used to have a dark room. I used to have the whole dark room. My sister does it. Lovely yeah, yeah, she prince. does it. You yeah, can, yeah. And she's, she's down with it. She takes film cameras. Yeah. So, for sure. I understand 100% yeah, the yeah. joy of it. Yeah. I just also love the feeling of, like, just freedom not to like to stress about yeah. like how much money you're spending on the thing just take loads of pictures take, yeah. um <clears throat> anyway anything else there's so much here my first mp3 everyone's reminiscing out there reminiscing come for the tea stay for the nostalgia <laughs> what's the most nostalgic thing Most nostalgic, I think for me, it's my my uh, CD player. That was like always on me. Yeah. It was my precious thing. I remember telex machines. What's a telex machine? Yeah, exactly. It's before fax. You know what fax is, yeah. right? <laughs> so it was what was before Listen, fax. I can't with, help it. Yeah. Well, it was like... I think that was the first time you'd like instantly communicate with another private person. Like, True. you know, it was pretty intense. Yeah. When did video chat come on? Video chat? Yeah. Video chat's only been popular for what, about 10 years? No, it has to be longer. Really? No. Mm, FaceTimes yeah. and stuff like that? Yeah. I think it's about okay. 10 years. No? Yeah. See, start to lose it. Having to use those DVD s- CD scratch fixing machines. Yeah, I remember that. Um, DVD CD scratch fixing. Yeah, to try to like fix like scratches on the CDs. <gasps> oh, I never saw those. Okay. Most nostalgic thing is fresh brown, uh, fresh brown <laughs> bread. Okay, we back to food. Nice. Butter and bovril, something I used to oh. eat around my nans. Love the sound of bovril. That. I never really got into bovril. Isn't that the vegetarian? What is bovril? It's kind so of like a marmite, marmite, but more yeah. beefy. Oh, really? Yeah. Our oh, Vegemite is the one that's vegetarian. Yeah, no, bovril is beefy. It's a beefy marmite. I, I, I don't think it's I like almost it. like concentrated beef stock in yeast extract. Ah, I see. And it just felt like it was too much like a stock. Right. And not like a spread. Yeah. But anyway. Oh, so there's a battle between bovril and marmite. I don't know if there was a battle, but I think, yeah, they are in the same ballpark. Mimeograph. What's mimeograph? What the hell is mimeograph? Now I need to look up what mimeograph is. What is mimeograph? 171 people watching. Hello, everybody out there listening to our nostalgic conversation. (coughs) Mimeograph, a duplicating machine which produces copies from a stencil. Now, don't know, never seen or never heard of a mimeograph. It's always nice to find something that you haven't heard of. It makes you feel like you're not too ancient. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know? Now you're being rude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. True. No, but maybe no, it's no, just a, a bit of a knowledge. Um, those purple carbon copy papers. Yeah, I remember those. And my first job, no email, fax only. Uh, Philip says, I'm a writer. That's my excuse. Uh, which tea would you recommend for someone? Le- okay, let's talk about tea well, let's, which tea would you recommend for someone who's trying to convince their dad that Tetley's tea dust and are bad and there's a whole other world of tea to explore show him a <clears> video <throat> where we show a tea bag tea and how it looks inside the difference to yeah. loose leaf yeah. and then what was the rest of the question which tea would you recommend to like go 
That's a converter. Um, See, forest jam. <laughs> really, I don't know if I would pick that. It's so, quite extreme. Yeah, but it's so lovely. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Not that. So I guess the first question is: Would you try to mimic his taste, like black tea drinker? Yeah. Or would you try to like? Flip it up and go, that's tea? Yeah, yes, that's tea. And do Ooh. something completely different, like an oolong. Maybe or... a bit of both. <clears throat> so you can go, ah, I'm not too scared of that taste. And then just shock. Yeah. You can, it gives you a better understanding yeah. of how different things can For be. sure. I think it would be good for you to give him a little run of like, these are three different teas that taste very different. But I would definitely include yeah. one black in there. Yeah. I'd definitely include one oolong in there. Yeah, oolong. And like a green oolong of some kind. A green oolong? Yeah. What else? Third type is um, the most converting for a black tea drinker. Maybe a really, I was going to say, a really nice, sweet kind of green tea, like Fur Peak. Yeah. You know, where it's like, oh, that's actually... If you were going to do that, though, fresh. I would probably then have like a darker oolong or a medium oolong. Really? Yeah, because otherwise it's a bit too green green. Like you want to show them the difference in palette. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. I would probably pick something like, you think about which ones you would pick, but I think, because I agree with your, a green oolong and a, and a black, I would probably go for something like um, a, um, hmm. an imperial green or a jade arrow, but I'd probably go imperial green. And then I'd probably go, um, I'm always tempted to do a dance song. Because I think that they're so like aromatic, but I know that sometimes when you brew them, mm. people find them a bit too like. It can, it's a bit riskier to brew. Yeah. You don't so know how to if, brew if you don't brew it perfectly, yeah. you're going to get the wrong reaction. Yeah. yeah. Um, so therefore, I might say something like a baked oolong. I might mm. even do something like a, a summer haze or a sort of fruitier yencha. Mm. And then I would do a black tea. Black tea, I might do something like golden bud. Something that shows off the smoothness of a black oh, tea. Oh, yeah. Rather than what he's used to. Right. Which ones were yours? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I feel like forest jam is such a great one. Because okay. it just makes you feel like, okay, black tea can be so much more than just malt. Yeah. And then... Uh, <laughs> malt. <laughs> golden bud malt. <laughs> No, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, I know, I know. want that black yeah. tea taste that you can get. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, yeah, maybe either Fur Peak to like really go completely yeah. the opposite or like a Lily Cream Whip where you get that creamy nose. Yeah. Easy drinker, you can't get it wrong. Yeah. And what's the oolong? Lily Cream Whip. Oh, Lily Cream and sorry. And then what's the black tea? Forest Jam. Oh, yeah. You said them all. So. <laughs> yeah. They seem to merge to me. Okay, yeah. so forest jam, lily oh, cream whip. Wild wood is amazing. Yeah, wild wood we don't have anymore. Uh, uh, any bug bitten usually impresses. It's true. That's true. That's true. Honey duchess. The only uh, yeah. Honey I'm duchess. switching. I'm switching. Honey duchess. You're right. <laughs> you can take. What it about as well. hip cuddler? Something yeah, completely different. Yeah, like Claire. It. I used to always pull out royal peach, but I've yeah. I've noticed that like you got to get the brew perfect. People love the smell and then they just want the brew to be just like tight, you know, and it's like can be just a little bit loosey goosey if you take your eye off the ball. Yeah, true. It's just risky. It's a bit risky. You want to go safe. If first. you're really focusing, yeah. then you're going to like, but if you're having a chat at the same time, it's like, true. Ooh, dance song is the one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm really dance curious. Dance song? No, we're just saying it's too much. It's too yeah, much. I'm saying it's, it's that one that you've got to really focus on, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, sure, brewing. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Fortean Blue says, I'm really curious about your opinion of pine needle tea. Did we ever try pine needle we tea? We did. Yeah, we did, didn't we? And I can't remember the taste at all. I, I think I remember thinking, it's nice. Like, it feels like a nice, light tea sand. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't getting enough of the pine note. I felt like I wanted more from it. I seem to remember feeling the same way. I seem to remember feeling that it was pretty good. Mm. We, but we wanted more intensity on the pininess. Mm. And then when we tried to brew it longer, it went bitter. Yeah. So it's sort of like, ah, yeah, difficult one. Maybe over. But maybe we've got a crappy one, you know. Yeah. Uh, Joy Rider. Joy Rider. Ah, oh, yeah. Joy Rider. Loving Joy Rider. It is definitely my contender for Tea of the Year already. 
Oh. Oh, yeah, because it's from this. Yeah, definitely. Because hip condom was from last year. Yeah. Ah, okay, 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 okay. okay. I don't know, man. It's a specialty. Uh, no, I get that. In terms of taste and effect, it's special for me. I still want to find a really Tom Heinz like tea. Did you yeah. have one? Isn't there one that's almost like that? I mean, Joyride um, is Tub Heinessy, mm. but different, very different. Because it has that roast on it. Yeah, I know, it changed it, yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, I think we do have a Tub Heinessy one coming. coming. Yeah, I think so. Oh, exciting. Yeah, I think so. All right, any other questions out there as we sip on Nug Potion? Let us know your thoughts, either nostalgic or questions. Any whispers out of Yunnan regarding this year's poor harvest? Are your predictions based on this season? Weather effects any other predictions? To be honest with you, I haven't heard anything that's either particularly positive or negative. Um, harvesting for the, the tea is going to be um, next month. So the next few weeks are very important. Mm. So it's going to be sort of, I'm probably going to be hearing stuff a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> over the next few weeks about yeah. what's going on in the poor tea world. Poor world. Uh, Scott's coming to Vegas. Okay, to Vegas session. Who's going and what tea you bring? Special prize to whoever brings the Maley tea that has been out of stock for the longest. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I, have no what to, I have no idea what to expect from that because literally the organizer of the World Tea Expo said, do you want to do a meetup? I said, oh yeah, okay. And they just put it on the program and like it could literally be just you and me, Scott, just having a session. <laughs> I have no idea how many people who are going to the expo even know about it or know us or want to come. Oh, wait. What are we going to bring for tea wear? But I'm assuming they'll have tea wear at the expo. Okay, we're bringing some. But we have to bring some tea. We have yeah. to bring some special tea. Okay. But the problem is we can't do it together. That's true. They won't allow me in it. So we're going to have to tag team. I'm going to do about an hour meet up and then whoop, switch. You're going to do an hour meet up. Yeah, but you're like people might have questions that are really deep about tea, and and people I... will have questions about your art and everything else. So I think it would be okay. You don't want to do it? Tell them. <laughs> yeah. <Say laughs> no, it. I don't want to do it. Listen, I'm a little bit shy. Okay. <laughs> you're not shy. Uh, are you planning to source your 2024 Young Gushu from Dajong Shan again? Young Gushu is going to be decided when we taste blind. Yeah. We have no yeah. idea. We have no idea. We never plan. We go for taste and yeah. go, that's... That's Young Gushu. Gushu. We, yeah. we never plan which mountain no, we're, we're going to be uh, getting our, our Gushu from, our Young Gushu from. Any other questions? Oh, yes, there are. When are the greens coming? Uh, greens will probably be coming in um, April, June? May. Oh, really? No, like, okay. Yeah, let me... S you're correct. The main part of our greens will be June. Yeah. Because we'll be, they'll be picking them in um, March, April. They'll be sending them to us. We'll be tasting over April, April time. Then we'll be ordering around early May. And then the tea will be coming in sort of end of May. And then we've got to like pack it up. So we're talking about June yeah. um, for the good harvest teas. Right like the standard Chinese harvest, but the early, early, like bamboo saber, oh, yeah. ganlu and the supreme, like the early, early ones are being picked probably in the next couple of weeks right. or now-ish in the next couple of weeks. Mm. So pull that back about a month. Mm. So it'll probably be around May that we get them. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's plenty of green teas now on the market. As I've said multiple times, I wouldn't recommend any green teas that are on the market now because in my mind, they've been picked too early or from um, cultivars that are intentionally bred to flush early to try to take advantage of the market. There's, there might be some really good stuff out there, but the majority is going to be not, I don't, I don't think, very good tea. Um, and it, it's going to be expensive. So better yeah, to wait for the good cool. harvests, um, which usually are in Sichuan maybe now, you know. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Um, sampling more yellow we're going to be sampling everything the, the silly season is nearly beginning when, as soon as we come back from the states it's on go, go, go. it's going to yeah. be on in terms of like sampling yeah. and I'm just going to have to have uh, my, my belly ready for 70 teas a day non-stop for many weeks you can't fast during <clears> that time <throat> Sorry no to say. I can't I just got told 
Could I ask for an IG video of top five red wines? I like a red wine, but want to try some different ones. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> we're not that. We're not. I'm not anywhere near advanced in my knowledge to be able to offer you that information. I can tell you like things I like, but it's not really the same thing. Um, this has been a surprisingly tame May Leaf Live in my experience. Thanks for the fun times. <laughs> yes, I know. It has been. We've been quite chill. We've True. been quite chill today. Yeah. You know, hey, it happens. It's good. You know, sometimes you've got to go a bit easy going. Yeah, exactly. Less manic. Because that can also be yeah. intense. Don, any good, bad experiences bringing tea onto planes? Checked baggage. No. We've had those bad experiences with the tea pick. Yeah, I forgot I had the tea pick in my bag. Yeah. But they were really kind. Actually. Yeah, they, they, they let us, I don't know how you got away with that. It's like this proper spike and like, can we carry it on the hand, in our hand luggage on the carry on? They're like, yeah, you can. <laughs> no, I was, she was like, oh, I was, I, was, you're like, it's I for even tea. opened it and I was like, yeah, you're not going to let it through with that, but it's for tea. <laughs> I'm not going to stab anyone. I just need it for my poor cake, my tea cake. And she's like, okay. She let you through. Yeah, I think it would have been me. She wouldn't have let, let yeah, it through. Yeah. Like. <laughs> um, but other teas, yeah. I mean, we have had the looks, right? Where people have gone through our, the x-ray and yeah. they've pulled our bag and they just see loads look, of tea cakes and they're like, and we just have to say, it's tea. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of that that yeah. we've had. It's, yeah. it's kind of funny. Yeah, true. Um, no confiscations. We've never had our no. tea confiscated. No, um, true. Or ruined by anything. It's surprising because sometimes tea can really smell of like yeah, cannabis sure. or look like it. <laughs> yeah. We used to have people coming in the shop going, we had the um, teas in little boxes to see them. And we'd have people like coming and going, you ain't selling tea. Look at that. Smell that. That's weed. <laughs> we're like, it's no, true. Sometimes. It's tea. What's the most weed smelling tea? Um, it was, it was, uh, was it Alishan cream? I think it was something like oh, really? Alishan cream or frozen summit. Frozen Summit. Some frozen Summit. Frozen Summit for me was always was always yeah. the the one. Frozen Summit for me was like yeah, it's got that cannabis thing. And thing. I don't know if it still does, does it? It's been a while. It's been a I've, while. I've really sniffed into it, but yeah. yeah. Um, frozen Summit, oh. I've always find has got that little cannabis thing happening. Do you think Frozen <clears throat> Summit and milk would be nice? Yeah, if you brewed it, yeah, no. No. <laughs> no. No, okay, fair enough. But you could try. You yeah. could always be surprised. Yeah. <clears throat> you know. Yeah. Um, any other questions out there? I've flown with weed plenty of times, no issues. Um, it, that's always shocked me when we go to the States, isn't it? Yeah. And you go to the States and you walk through an airport and you smell weed. Weed everywhere. And you're I'm like, like oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, there's decriminalization, you know. Yeah. So yeah, and you see like remember like um Oh, um, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, yeah. Yeah. Just stuffing weed and like, and just like, and like, Friend okay, us, yeah. yeah. You're packing your weed. That's good. I loved it, man. I, I like, know. Yeah. It's like, yes, you do your finally, thing. do it, just man. Of up. course. But it is kind of funny that the smell yes. in, an, in an airplane, in an airport, when you're like, okay, there's, I mean, there's people carrying here. <laughs> yeah, there's sure. like, that's definitely saying. The smell, you can really smell it on the people isn't it oh my god especially if they're carrying and they've smoked and it's a, like a hot day mm. it's just like oh, yeah exuding rising off them from the, <coughs> from the sweat maybe we all taste like taste smell like tea when we sweat because we drink too much tea. i don't know does tea make you smell tea-ish no maybe right because maybe because the, the water possibly i mean if you rub your hands in the stuff definitely so nice. Uh, cannabis always reminds me that the dollar per gram of tea isn't that bad. It's true. You go, yeah, it's quite cheap. Mm. Tea and weed make a nice time, Catskill says. Yeah, it does. But I find that the order is important. Yeah. I think that you drink tea first. Tea, tea first. Get very tea drunk and then the weed <laughs> yeah. and not the other way around. Not the other way around, true. And together I find it a bit, it's okay, but you don't really. You can't taste as well. You can't well. taste as well. Yeah. But even if you smoke before or you've ate before and then drink tea, yeah. you still can't taste that well. That's true. Mm. It affects your, and I find it's more, it affects texture because you get that cotton true. mouth. True, true. And true. you become like true. cotton mouth Joe. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Was that a cartoon or something? No. 
And that's, I was just thinking that that song, you've been feeling a long time ago. And then you're wondering where you go, where you go to Cotton Eye Joe, not Cotton uh. Mouth Joe, but I changed it to Cotton Mouth Joe. Um, it still sounds weird, Cotton Eye Joe. Anyway. Yeah, I know. Cotton Mouth. And I hate the Cotton Mouth, you know, especially when yeah. drinking tea. Yeah. But the feeling of drinking lots of tea and then hitting and then hit, is, yeah. that's, that's a winner for sure. That's true. Um, Nug Potion just slammed my cranium like a heavy cannabis session. It it definitely has some power to it. The old yeah. nugs, the old nuggerinos. It really does. Well, oh, I damn, Cotton Eye Joe, yeah. Remember that song? Do you remember that song? The one you just sang? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I, was just, I wasn't just humming from just hearing you yeah, like yeah, a yeah. second after. Is it a song about syphilis? Is that what it is? Really? Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Oh, I that don't, makes sense. Now. I don't know. Does it make sense? Cotton Eye Joe? Isn't it like, like puffed up Joe? Like puffed up? I don't know. I, now I've heard Disease. it in a completely different way. Um, I highly recommend everyone vape it and not smoke it. Yes, yeah. agreed. True. Although, haven't found really a, a unit that competes with the... Um, Vapor Exhale or the Mighty. Oh, so like, I need to get Vapor Exhale anyway, again. Anyway, let's stop talking True. about that. We're probably going to be banned from YouTube oh, <laughs> if we no. keep talking about that. We've yeah. just sort of drifted into, um, yeah. Or yeah. Marco says ingest it. Yeah, but that's a different feeling. Anyway, we are yeah. moving away. Yeah, Air Riser. Yeah, okay. We are moving away from that conversation. Um, I'm learning Chinese. Just learn Pianyi, cheap. Any correlation? <laughs> To what? Pianyi? Yeah. I'm not quite sure. Um, anyway, all I know is Cotton Eye Joe was awesome of the dance dance machines in arcades. True. All right. We are over an hour and a half into this session. Mm -hmm. uh, any other questions for us and uh, comments about things that you would like to know or nostalgic things or... So good, this tea. It is great. And it's going to just... Be, the beautiful thing is that it's you know you're in for a long session. Yeah, it tastes like it's got cream, but then it moves to like an oily, olive oil, oily, oiliness. Yeah. yeah. So delish. It is luscious. Mm. It is very, very good. I it's like a bit long of rum teas. and like, like um, caramel tart vibe. Love it. Something like that. Um, best way to age a push button smile? Let it be in free air. <laughs> Let it roam the fields <laughs> of your garden. Um, um, I was about to say the absolute opposite to that. Oh, uh, shut it down and mm. close it up. No, like <laughs> keep it. it airtight. Yeah, airtight. That's what I mean. <laughs> you <laughs> said it up. keep it in the air and let it roam. No, I mean, yeah, okay. No, but because like, that would be the approach that poor would be a little bit, right? Keep it airtight. No, the other, like your yeah. one, let it roam. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, let it I roam. I know, but push button smile for black tea. You don't want it to funk up? Yeah, I do, but the funk up for black tea is more fermentation. And you don't want it to oxidize more. So <gasps> oh, for me, like, it's, it's, it's like what you say, some people would say. So it's not like a yeah. right or wrong. It's just like, in my experience, I think airtight is a bit better. That would be a good experiment. We leave one outside with the humid um, and cold air. And we leave one inside, properly airtight. Yeah, we should for definitely do that. A month. Yeah. We don't do an epic one. We just do a month. Is a month going to be long enough? Yeah. Don't I know. think you need at least three. I think. Yeah. Roll it down a hill and let it tumble. We <laughs> very good. Um, tease us with some hints about coming releases. Br -br 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 Brunella, you want some teasing? It's a good question, that. Okay, I will tease you, Brunella. Yeah. You like ready? Um, <laughs> um, what can I say? Um, there's definitely um, a... Should we do a guess? And uh, you win something. <laughs> Why? Why? We were about to go out. Why did you do that? Um, Listen, we win just what? do like a nut potion. Um... Or a little bit of this new release. Oh, yeah, much better, actually, that one. All right, but then what, what's the question? The, which, which tea... Which, but this, yeah, exactly. Okay, I've got a new black. I've got a couple of new black teas um, that are coming out, um, which I really, really love. Um, I've got. We've got a raw pua. Wait, sorry, we're not doing the game. Coming out? No, but I'll, we'll think of another question for it. We've got a raw pua coming out um, shortly. 
We've got um, another ripe pua cake mm. that is, or is it? Oh, I've got a question. There's there's a few cakes that are still in production. Um, Jade Star Eight um, is um, is definitely going to come out um, at some point. Uh, yeah, go on. I see that you want to say something. Jade Star Eight. Yeah. I feel like I keep going back <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because you're late. Of, it's because of the Jade Star Six, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's because of the Jade Star Six. You like, but you still haven't released Jade Star yeah, Six. Yeah, it's like what about seven? What about? <laughs> um, so, what is the most disgusting tea you've ever had in your life? Oh, you think of the question? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, is that not what we're doing? Uh, no, it's fine. So, what's up. the most disgusting tea? Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. Tea. You've ever had in your life, and how are you picking your winner? You're just going to see which one takes your fancy, and what no, are they winning? No, just like random. Just okay. say. Like, just stop. Just stop. Just stop the boat. And what's the <laughs> and what's the, the 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 prize? A bit of Jade Star. Was it eight? <laughs> just like a chunk. All right, a chunk of Jade Star eight goes to the one that we stop over, which I don't know how we're going to pick. Oh, we've got to put, pick up like, that night bot. Why is it always really late in the session? I have to get night bot out. Oh, I mean... No, no, it's fine, uh, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, no, it's not fine. <laughs> okay. What else can we do? No, hold on. I spin it hold and on, you No, it might be working. We're going to get Nightbot out, and we are going to make it... Come on, hurry up. We've got to allow all the permissions. Do, 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 do. Oh. All right, Nightbot is up. I hope it's working. Yes, it is. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to do... Um, just a random, right? Yeah. We're just going to do a random person. Yeah. Active user. So if you're an active user, it's just going to be a random person. So like, you know, no real work here, but you know, please do suggest your most disgusting teas. Badly influenced jasmine tea. Oh yeah, true. Is I is the one that. a ripe pour that literally smelled and tasted like a fish market on a hot day. Uh, Wendy's unseat iced tea. Nine year old Longjing. Milk oolong that was not good. Oh, oh, I stop with the. I'm a. Oh my god. What are you doing? It's just impossible to get get them. Yes, ah, horrible, fast. Fake jasmine. horrible fake jasmine. Disgusting Imagine. tea. I think I've had probably a crappy green tea from the supermarket. Oh, it's moving too quickly. It's moving too quickly. Poor sample from a teaware seller. I almost threw up. Lipton. <laughs> fishy poor, know. fishy ripe. All right. So now we're going to pick a random person. Salmon fest. Ooh. Random person to um, see who gets a chunk of Jade Star before we go. Jade Star 8. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, great. Roll it. Funny. Oh. Uh, there are no eligible users. What the hell does that mean? Why? Can't um, you just do a random chisels? Okay, this didn't work. You see, never tried that one. Oh. Never active user. Giveaway type. Active user. Challenges. You see. You see what happens when you suggest a giveaway late. All right, we're going to have to do a keyword. Or maybe no keyword, just like blank keyword and roll it. No. Oh, man. All right. The what keyword yeah, is going to have to be that. What? I'm putting keyword Jade. You're just going to have to do it now. Just type in Jade. We didn't want to do this. We didn't want to do it, but Jade. So now just write Jade hey, lots man. of times. At least we got to see some of the stuff that you did. Yeah, like. no, I know. It's very good. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. <laughs> just take some time. Write Jade. Here we go. Three, win, win. two, <laughs> one, and we're off. Um, off. Are you <gasps> kidding me? <laughs> it's not, it's okay, so it's something wrong with Nightbot. Nightbot does not want Nightbot to Nightbot is not doing Jade it, man. Star. It doesn't want, just doesn't want you to do it. Right, I'm just gonna. You're gonna pick. randomly pick, yeah. okay. You, wait, 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 wait. Okay, randomly pick. And I'll just say stop, okay? Kyle, oh no, you're gonna no, say no, stop. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Stop. Sorry. Paul Casino. Paul Casino, write to us. You won a chunk of Jade Star 8. As is usual, completely no organization. And it just <laughs> descended into nonsense. But hey, you got some JS8. Yeah. So all is good in the world. Make sure you write to us um, on our website so that you can tell us who you are and where we're sending the JS8. And when JS8 is going to come out, I'm not quite sure. But, you know, it is, um, it's not... It's not going to be in the second half of the year. Put it that way. All right, people. 
on uh, Wednesday night. We are going to leave you. It's been an hour and 40 minutes. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, we will try to be back next week, but then that will be the last week before we go we're away. Off, yeah, off before skis. we're off skis. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and I was saying we might do some lives in the States. Whoa, how? What? Just with a mobile phone, isn't it? Yeah, okay, fair enough. I don't see how we fit on just like one little screen though. Just squish. Wide TV angle. Squish. Okay. Camera. Or yeah. just walking around Vegas. Just, <laughs> just what? Here's us walking around yeah, Vegas, just right. giving some thoughts about what we saw at the World Tea Expo. Yeah, okay. It doesn't have to be long. Yeah, okay. We'll do an hour and a half of walking around Vegas. Yeah, okay. Yeah? All right, we're down? All right. Do that. See you anyway, yeah, Marco, thank you so much. You see, that's, that is a kind person. Just, Just have you. fun in Vegas. Aww. Forget about us. Wow, that's really kind, That's Marco. very kind of you. Respect. I appreciate that. It makes me want to do the live even more. Reverse. <laughs> well Reverse done. Reverse psychology. Well ah, done, well done. Smart. Yeah, thumbs up it, people. Make sure you hit the like on the way out, and we will see you next week. And uh, as always, have a wunderbar weekend. I don't know what this weekend's video is, so don't ask me. <laughs> um, haven't planned it, um, but um, make sure you check it out and have a great weekend. And we will see you on the other side. Laters. Later. Bye. Bye. -bye.